good one in. Well, we are uh, at a beautiful place today called Sudley Ponds. Um, and I'm gonna have to say that it's probably my most favorite out of all the ones I'm gonna show you. Um, and to be fair, it's the least, the one that I come to least. <laughs> so yeah, um, quite funny really how it works. Yeah, so you get some incredible reflections here, no matter what time you come, really. So, yeah, we'll, I'll take you around here now, but, yeah, good start to the day today, I think. So, we found this tree here, and uh, well, I absolutely love the way all this side is in shadow. And you can see that the moss is completely covered in moss, and this little tree here. But well, I'm thinking this is going to be a portrait image. Um, the format is going to be 4 by 3 aspect ratio. But I just love the way that the light has reflected from the sky it's just catching obviously the top of the tree and casting this great big shadow on the underside of the branches and to me uh, what I first saw was this sort of face here sorry I'm quite short and this tree's quite tall I sort of saw a face here there's been a really long nose and then these two branches are on the opposite end there like branches and it's like it's pushing away from the light so uh, sorry my crazy imagination here but it's the first thing that caught my eye was this sort of face, like shape of a face that could be in there, and the way the hands on the arms of these branches are going right up there. But yeah, well, uh, we haven't got any mist or anything today, which is a shame because if there was a bit of a separation of mist, like mist separating this tree from the background behind, that would have been really nice. But I'm going to purposely underexpose this shot to really emphasise that shadow. So I'm going to expose to the highlights of the moss. Well, the moss that's in the light there. So yeah, first first shot of the morning. Not really one I thought I'd be taking to be honest. But yeah, it's I can't not take it. So I'm gonna set that up now in there. Well, I'll put this I'll put the shot straight on the screen for you right now. Two trees that like look like they're spiders exploding out of the sort of out of the ground here, and then I'm right down by this um, brook here, and it as it sort of meanders down from the pond at the top down into the main pond here. Oh yeah, don't, don't worry, I will take some good pictures in a minute. I say good pictures. This is probably going to be a good picture. Yeah, but yeah, I can see some mist rolling in there across the lake. So I'm, I'm keen to get over there and, uh, and explore that now. I'm sat now right by the pond side here and looking back at like down the pond towards the road where we came in. Let me just stop you down, my face looks a bit bright. And uh, yeah, it's a cracking view, absolutely cracking view. And um, the sun's behind this big crop of trees that's coming through the side of my scene here, like sat and side lighting. 
um, the right hand side of my scene which has got some really lovely bracken and, um, and the green grasses and the touch in the side of these trees so we've got some really nice orangey golden tones and green tones in there it's looking fantastic with a lovely reflection like getting smaller and smaller down to the left hand of the frame and just turn you around so you can see let me just spin this round so this is what we're seeing here and oh, sorry it's going to be a bit overexposed now and I'm having to bracket this shot again as I mentioned before in my previous video so exposing for the highlights at like that sort of level and then exposing for the shadows at that sort of level um, I don't have as much in the scene definitely not this grass in the front of the lens here but you can see this is the scene I'm sort of looking at at the moment so yeah it's looking pretty nice about a two second timer on just to eliminate any shake when I hit the camera hit the shutter and uh, yeah I think it's going to be a beautiful image So, for future reference, if you ever see this room, that means I've made a massive mistake in filming. So yeah, my face was so blown out from the sun because <laughs> it was so bright, I forgot to stop down the aperture. Anyway, so I hope you really enjoyed the video and, uh, and the images. And uh, let me know in the comments which one you prefer. Um, but yeah, stay tuned for next week because we're going to Walgreens Nature Reserve, and uh, which it was the first frost of the year when I went and I have some amazing images that I'd like to share. Well, I can't wait to share. Um, so yeah, um, again, thank you so much for watching and uh, give the video a like if you like it and subscribe if you uh, want to see more. But yeah, it's, uh, it's been fun. So thanks again and I'll see you next week. Cheers.